What's up, guys? Um, if you've ever scrolled through Facebook or, or any other kind of social media, you've probably seen an ad selling this thing right here. So, I saw the same ad. Uh, the wife's son is really into models and putting stuff together and stuff like that. So, I thought, well, I'll get that for him for his birthday. Um, so, I've done a little bit of research on it. And some stuff I found was legit. Some stuff I found wasn't legit. I thought I was on a legit website. So I ordered the thing. It didn't tell me where it was from, uh, how long it would take to ship there, or anything like that. So that threw up a red flag. But he really wanted it, so I took a chance with it. Almost two months later, a, a full month and a half past his birthday, I get it in the mail. Um, now... This is the box that came in. I've already opened the box, but I want to show you what's in it. So right off the bat, uh, you can see that it's a tiny little box. It literally weighs nothing. So I open up the box, and this is what I get. It is a plastic mold of the thing that I ordered. And it literally weighs nothing. It's probably like a 3D printed kind of thing. And then somebody just went through and painted all the stuff on it. So, yeah, I think I got scammed. But the thing is, I'm not even mad about it. it this is actually, when I opened this up, I laughed so hard. It was hilarious. Um, had I actually got the motor thing and it been a piece of crap and fall apart and uh, not up to quality or something like that, yeah, I'd have probably been pissed off. But when you get something like this instead, <laughs> I mean, I just can't be mad about it. I, I just, it's the cheapest, crappiest. I think I paid 40 something dollars. Of course, that should have threw up a red flag for me right there. I always try to look. I always try to make sure it's not coming from China and it's going to ship in a couple of days and this and that, blah, blah, blah. But he wanted it so bad and I thought it was cool also. So... I ordered it super fast and, and really didn't do my research. And uh, I had actually canceled my order. Um, it was taking so long for it to come in. And then finally they sent me information like, oh, it just shipped from China. I'm like, great, great, great. So anyway, if you've ever ordered something online and it wasn't what you thought it was, uh, you feel my pain on this. But I just wanted to share this with y'all today. If y'all got a story... Uh, of something that you ordered and it wasn't what it was and you feel like you got scammed, I'd love to hear about it because this is the first time that anything like this has ever happened to me. Like I said, I'm always super careful. Uh, I make sure it's from the United States, make sure it ships when it's supposed to ship, shipping from somewhere, you know, kind of somewhat local and going to come within a couple of days. But uh, this was one of those things that I hastily ordered and, and now I regret it. But, like I said, I'm not mad about it. I'm not even asking for my money back again. I sent them a message asking for my money back. They never replied. I'm okay with that. To me, it's worth 40 bucks just for the story. Um, but, yeah, this is the picture you saw. And I'm going to show it again here. Is what I got right here. So, I'm not even mad about it. It's hilarious. So anyway, guys, that was it. I just wanted to show you this that uh, I got in the mail and that I got scammed. And look, I, already, I mean, it literally hit the couch. I dropped it. It hit the couch and a leg broke off. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, that's it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.